This is called a Leatherman. On the wind, wet cowhide, old toques and sweat. Before we heard that rattle breath, once every moon, then his creak into our village. Leave be, he's doing his thing, she would say, motherwise and caring. Le garçon du. We laughed anyway and threw rotten crops that bounced off that stiff old steer suit. He would only catch the bread or tobacco our parents could heft. One fall, Jack's nose bone nearly caught the waft of his cane. We kept our heads after that, studied his circus instead, slow and loopy like the days were. We knew he slept as a bear in caves cold with fire, or kept to the glades in the off pace of summer, and that he had no tongue, yet could talk to the world that he walked. After the last war, when only some came running back, he was a giant in our brains. We wondered at his freedom. Then one month, the vagabond didn't appear, not the smell, or the creak, or the need. And that was all for his adventure, but we were out of our gate with provisions, at any hint, any whiff of smoke and leather. Thank you. Whoa. Here's a teenage, that was a true story by the way, you can Google it, it's called The Leatherman. It's not, I mean it's not true now, obviously, but it was true. This is a teenage story, Return Home Pain. I was halfway through the three miles home from Dickie's house in cold rain to beat a parental curfew. I was cursing everything I could think of on the way, going out into the cold night for one. The girls had gone early with my hopes and the booze for two and three. That had left me and Dickie to eke out the night man to man. I could only count up to three. And now, on the fly, I was aware how flat and thin my cheap yet stylish boots were. Another car washed by. The brake lights seemed hazier each time. Bastards. The thought of them inside their zooming glowing boxes with a radio, a smoke, some heat. Maybe company, maybe. I had my balls in my pocket and that was all. I was busy rubbing them together just to keep warm, but even they didn't want to know me anymore. They were two little pebbles sucked cold by a tiny ocean of missed advantages. Ingrates. And then, the rain. It dripped from my head onto my top lip and I tongued a diluted and disgusting hairspray I'd stolen a squiff of from Dickie's mum. <laughs> Everything was a wanker. But I knew it. It didn't matter. There's always a cup of tea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>